Hi everyone, Shamion here. I'm going to do a demo of uh, Trinidad and Tobago fry bake and smoky rain bulljaw. This is just a run through of the setup, right? Um, I have three and a quarter cups of flour, regular flour. I did not sift it or anything like that. I have this. Um, mug or jug of water that is um, mixed with both hot and um, cold water you don't ever want to use just cold water or tap water or room temperature water when you are working with yeast also you don't want the water too hot so be mindful of that also and make sure it's the correct temperature because if it's too hot it will kill your yeast i have about two and a half uh, tablespoons of granulated sugar or white sugar as it is known in the Caribbean here I have one packet which equals to one tablespoon of active dry yeast I have a tablespoon of butter right that this is my setup for my bake in Trinidad it is known as fry bakes um, I lived in Dutch St. Martin for a while it is called Johnny Cakes I believe in some other parts of the Caribbean also it is called Johnny Cakes right so fry bakes and johnny cakes is really the same thing the americans call it i think i heard once they call it fried bread imagine right so i'm going to start now i am going to start uh with the uh, fry bake my this is my version this is how i'm i do it all the time i am not saying this is the way to do fry bake because we do things differently most times most times we come up with the same we get the same results sorry we get the same results most times it's just that um we do things differently for those of you that cannot have white flour i will suggest that you whole wheat flour is always heavy i've noticed that time and time again so i will suggest if you don't want to have white uh flour you can probably use some bran yeah Bran is it's a bit lighter than when you're using just the, um, the whole wheat flour. Use bran in your regular white flour. That should help. Or go half and half. Half whole wheat, half white. Because you just don't get the same results when you're using... Um, I'm going to put any butter now. No specific reason. I just prefer to use butter in my uh, fry bake. Sometimes I use uh, evaporated milk. Right? It's not much work just want to make sure everybody's incorporated this is my dough blender i just want to make sure the butter is incorporated fully that's why i'm using it it's there is really not much of anything going here the butter is room temperature so it's very easy to work with yeah you see that's about it already with the uh the butter yes yeah, so i was saying right you just put a well in it i'm using a pot spoon i've said time and time again when we are eating commercial food this pot spoon is equivalent of the uh commercial um door blades really it is because it's the same metal right you're gonna add i always talk about that you can always add you cannot take away so don't just pour all your water or liquids into any flour or such please right so i am just mixing keep adding keep adding as you go you will see when it's see you know it's well together when uh, everything is in one bowl you know that's when it's good right remember I called out the um, what's needed for the fry bake or Johnny cake at the beginning you all remember that right so if you need to you may have to go back and um, my hands was washed I'm big on kitchen safety so I wash my hands before I dried it with a paper towel to cut down on, on germs right yeah, so I was saying that um, with these things, we can always add, we can take away. Also, for the raising of the. Took a dumb and James use paper towel also, just let me finish that point. Um, for those of you that might be coming across my demo or videos for the first time, I want to say that when you have big any dough sorry not just bake but any dough and it requires rising and you want it done so quickly use a basic if you if you prefer cling that's good i'm just 
getting some flour in there, right? Yeah. So if you have cling, feel free to go that way and use your cling, right? Use your cling wrap. But I prefer to use a steam cap, as it is known here in the Caribbean, a new one, to let my flour sit and relax and rise to the point of where I need it, right? That's just me. Everybody do things differently. I like to stress that. Don't foil it. The foil might not be what you want. Why, why, would, why do we cover the doors? It just causes it, especially with plastic, it just causes it to, to go faster, to grow faster. You know, because yeast causes things to grow. That's the purpose of it. That's how your dough gets soft and nice. If you ever bake without, make bread and thing without yeast, you will have what is known as unleavened bread. It will be like crackers, really it will. So the purpose of yeast is for softening up and things like that in breads and so forth, right? That is the purpose of yeast. I know some persons, I haven't had much success in years gone by, I haven't done it in a while. I know some persons that don't use uh, yeast at all in fry bakes and roast bake and so forth. They use strictly baking powder. I would not suggest that. I test things and I see what works and I see what don't. Even if it's a new pack of baking powder, I would not suggest that whatsoever. Right? So, here is the, you all see how easy it was to make the fry bakes, right? Here is the new steam cap. Right, and I'm just gonna put it on, on the bowl. It's fighting, it's what it does that at times, you know. It's okay, right? So, this is what you want done, yeah. We're gonna just wait, it don't have to come right up. My god, it's just fry because a little bit. We're not looking for it to come half of the bowl cell, we just want some expanding on it, and we are good to go. Now, while that is sitting and relaxing, I'm going to go straight into putting the bulb, uh, the smoker and bulge all together, okay. So I, I am just doing it quickly. I prepped beforehand because it's a video, of course, but it also makes a lot of sense. Even if you are cooking food or doing anything for that matter, to be prepared ahead of time for what you are going to do. So I'm going to get straight into the uh, the smoker and bell jar. Since I don't, I no longer need my dough. I'm just moving it aside a bit, and I'm going to get into the bell jar, right? I don't put too much stuff in my salt fish or my um I don't put too much of stuff in my salt fish bull jar or my smoker and bull jar. I keep food very simple. I guess those of you that are familiar with my demos and my way and my style of cooking, you guys know that. You know that. This is a sifter. It's a five cup sifter. It takes away the need for using the conventional. Uh, traditional slash conventional strainer and shaking right that's all it is i didn't use it like i said before right it's not necessary when you are doing bread and so forth unless the flour is full of a lot of lumps so it really isn't necessary so what does sifter do some of you are more familiar with their subject for sifting your flour right but this removes the need for that you put it in and you turn it and you also have measurement on here which is good right it's a bit tedious to work with this yeah right so those of you this this is the smoky rain that was boiled before demo started and this is a bundle of parsley fine me chop this is some onions it's not white onions it's regular onions fine me chop and this is for medium sized tomatoes right so i am going to start putting it together at this very moment I need to get it together like right now so that's what I'm gonna do right I call out what I have here I don't put anything else in my bowl drawl and so forth it's for me it's not necessary I like to keep food very simple for me it's easier for persons to learn also when I keep my food simple so this is um some smoke herring smoke herring sorry that I got already fillet it takes the works out, work out of it, of course. And um, I boil it. I soak it in water. For those of you that can't tolerate salt, probably you might have to boil it twice and then run it through water. Right? So this is all that it is here. Right? I'm going to just use half of this onion until everything is combined and then I'll put in the next bit. If you have people that don't like onion, use scythe. 
it's a more softer flavor you can also use the red one it's my lime taste or you can use shallots feel free right i love tomatoes in these things a lot of tomatoes it's good for us actually so yeah about that i'm just gonna use regular um regular canola oil in it right take your time don't you don't have to rush you don't want it to start spilling over and all of that you're working but i would suggest working with a bigger bowl than this right honestly when i mix it and seasoning i use bigger bowls and so forth it makes life easy it does right so this is how you go about making all bull jobs right not just smoke rain but even the um the saltfish one like i said my favorite saltfish bull jaw is pollock that's my all-time favorite i don't really like the ones with the bone in and so forth the shark saltfish and those i don't like it no particular reason i just don't like it i prefer the pollock the pollock is so nice flavor is supple it, it literally just melts away i prefer that everyone have their preferences that is my preference i'm getting some are just coming out a bit because like i said when you're using when you're doing things like these you want to make sure that um your bowl is always bigger and that's why i always use bigger bowls when i'm doing videos and even if i'm not doing videos i do that right so we're gonna put in i'm gonna put in a couple uh tablespoons of oil and then i will do the parsley because i want the parsley fresh i don't want the oil to wilt my parsley right in our next demo i might do quite the opposite which is putting the parsley then the oil it is it is what it is when you are cooked one moment you do something the next moment you're like oh i don't like this i do it the next way it's just all trial and error right right i know there are talk about oils and everything and every time we get familiar with something and the studies and science prove that something is good for us here comes our next um preview a review of it and say no it's not good so i know canola oil is good we know that right I'm just gonna use half of this fresh chicha parsley right and we we'll see how it goes yes yeah, so every time something is good they come back to say no it's not really good but I'll say something in moderation I guess everything is good everything that is acceptable that is yeah yeah so this is what our um, bulge all look like you can put in chopped garlic if you want some people if you can't get the um if you can't get the parsley don't use the dry stuff for this don't use the dehydrated herbs for this it won't do it any justice if you can't get the parsley and you have fresh alubeni and i always only use fresh products it makes a world of difference when you are cooking if you can't get the fresh wow look at that big amount just fell out there so i'm gonna pick it up because i don't like mess right right so i'm gonna pick it up right as me so use fresh shadow benny don't use anything that was sitting in your fridge for too long and so forth right it makes a world of difference in the taste of your food it really does right so this is what you should have this is how it should look the taste will be lovely now don't use too much oil yes you can use olive oil in this if you like or prefer and you can use vegetable oil you can use corn oil yeah i would not suggest coconut oil however for this I brought the saltfish, I don't know if I meant the smoker in, sorry, I got it without bone in it. But really, you still have to remove bones from it. Because the bone in it is so fine, you know, it's not impossible to get out every drop of bone, right? But I prefer it already filet than the traditional way we know it, as uh, like at the market and so forth. I prefer it to buy it um, filet already. So here it is that is the end of this don't put too much of oil because remember it's going in fry bake so this is the end of it yeah that easy guys that simple no nothing and this is going to be nice and even if you do it you could do it beforehand if you're having a function or family over you can do it beforehand you can have this with rice of course white rice you can have it with dumplings you can have it with bread you can even have it with pizza bread right you can have it with all of those things i now call there you can have it with sada you can have it with roast bake you can have it with coconut bake you can have it with whatever if you want to have it with crackers and all have it with crackers it's whatever you want right so that's the bulge right there 
the same cap the same cap that i uh take take off of it at the beginning of the demo i'm gonna put it back on on it and you don't have to put it in the fridge because we are going to eat from it as i am done with this demo right so you don't have to go back in the fridge and i wouldn't suggest warming it if you put in it overnight take it out like about half an hour before not for longer than that bacteria grows on food really quickly take it off for half an hour and let it sit room temperature because if you hot it really it's gonna get a little mushy the uh tomatoes in it so now we are going on to the other part of the demo which is the uh the bake right so in a pot i already have um oil set up it is right of course for johnny cakes like i said for the wider part of the caribbean that's what they know it as so i already have the I already have the setup for that here going fully set up when I tell you fully I kid fully I kid you not this is the way you want to set up if you're doing it fry bake or fry anything so this is parchment paper in a dish already prepared for the fry bake to take the excess oil you can use paper towel for that also right yeah so you want the oil not too too hot not cold because if it's too hot it's gonna cook the outside and the inside of the bake gonna be raw. That's not nice. Right? So we are going to start with preparation of the um, frying of the bakes. When you have good products, like when you're using flour and thing that wasn't put down for too long, you don't really have to let the bake sit that much long with the doughs. You know, you can use it. Counter was clean that before with disinfectant wipes that is safe to use in kitchen yeah so when you have the yeah the bake even turn out is ready when you have really good um bake and so flour and so forth that wasn't sitting for too much months in your pantry or cupboard you can get straight into things like immediately you this this flour is done so soft and nice it's amazing right and this is what you want if you are needing it and you find the flower stiff definitely something is wrong because if the flower stiff chances are you're going to get like messed up bakes right so from here you're going to just cut the bakes on them um equally like cut it equal to the size you want i don't make it too small unless i'm doing like the right you wouldn't do it too small or too big so just watch right if you have children i'll show you a technique right but you want to keep everything uniform for proper cooking i'll show you a technique if you have kids like i do i have i have three of them right so um this is how you want to do it you can always use excess flour, extra flour to um, pick it up. But you know it's better to do everything uniform for better results when you are cooking, right? But uniform size, everything, right? So I'm just rolling out all at once. Don't pinch from the bowl and, and, and take out one at a time from your bowl and so forth. Roll it all beforehand, beforehand. Everybody together, roll them out, right? And... You start with the one you put down first. Try to remember that. Whichever one. The small one is going to be for the children, of course. So whichever bake you started with first. I, guess I started with this one. This is the one I'll start rolling out first to go into the pot. Because that will have had time to sit and relax a bit, right? So this is what uh, the three and a quarter cup of flour gave me. For some people, it's going to be more because they're going to make the bake smaller right i would not even eat really a whole bake i'm not i watch what i eat i eat everything in moderation and i'm not a fan of fried food but sometimes a treat is good you know once you're not dealing with any uh thing that restricts you from having fried foods a treat is good at time i did not put i did not put salt in this bake right some of you might ask that it might come up as a question under the video because um a lot of people will say but you must put salt no it isn't necessary the butter had salt i did not use unsalted butter and then the smoke herring is 
not salty we boil out majority of the salt but it have salt it have flavor in it so you know, i don't want to overkill with salt as i said before i watch what i eat right yeah so this is what you want to do remember try and roll out try and fry what you roll out first because it will have been sitting it will have been able to relax so three and a quarter cup of flour gave me eight bakes eight right and i know some people i'll show you if you have children and they don't eat like a lot also even the senior folks the mature folks you know those like about 50 and such they don't eat plenty either so you have them and they they don't eat a lot or you know you just gonna cut it i'm gonna show you all how to do that i will right so i'm just sprinkling it because i'm gonna get ready to flatten them with a rolling pin to go into the fire I'm going to show you all how to do that and then I'm going to show you how to make sure the oil is hot though remember we spoke about using the one that went down first first right yeah so this is what you want to do make sure you can always dust off the excess before you fry it you can you see how quickly that this uh, fry bake or johnny cake dough rise right so like this is the size of it even when you're doing bacon shark that's a next trinidad and tobago uh street food when you are doing bacon shark you want your bake about this size but you don't want to go too flat even if persons don't like the inside with too much flour you don't want to go too flat because then you will not be able to cut it yeah yeah so that's how you roll it out and for the kids i'll show you that demo quickly one time because i'm going to get into frying like like instantly right for children and the senior folks that don't eat plenty i know a lot of folks that don't eat plenty believe it or not so you're gonna just roll it out like i did first one you're gonna roll it out right and then you're just gonna take a knife and cut it in half right so that is the way you want to do it for the senior folks and the kids that don't eat much because really if somebody eat from a bake a child only piece of it is wasting food and so forth right so that's what you want to do they can always come back and say they want a next one and it will be better than if you just give them and they play with it and they have to throw it away okay right so that's what you want to do for the senior folks and the kids or even the adults that that don't eat too much right now it's to the oil i want to make sure the oil is really hot yeah so now i'm going to go straight into frying right yeah we want to start with this guy first since I roll him out first. Like I said, that's all the excess flour. It is, it was not oil that was filtered or anything. It's, it's the first time we are frying in this oil. Right? It's not filtered oil or reused oil or recycled oil. No. This is the very first time we are using that oil. And I guess that's one of the reasons only a little part aside from the health reason why I don't like fried foods. Because if you are going to reuse that oil, you will not have good looking um, bits. It's going to be dark. It's going to be this color. So I just can't handle all of that. You see the nice swelling that's happening there? That's what you want. And remember you all, I am not editing. Everything was done in real time. You see how it's swelling there it's rising even in the pot that's what you are looking for we're going to monitor it for color right this is what we are looking for for those of you that want to know chamion why did you use butter i don't know why i use butter and if you want to bake a little sweeter use a little more sugar but be careful with diabetics that may be eating from it okay there's no reason sometimes i do it and i don't use flour Right, you want to monitor things to see the color that you are getting. This is not perfection color yet, but I'm turning it. Right, right, right. I know a lot of people are gonna appreciate this video. Um, feel free to rate and like the video and comment, and I'll get back to you. Hi to all my supporters, all my fans, and everyone else. Hello, I hope all is well. Right, so we just frying up these guys. You see how easy these things are? I would not like to hear the price of a breakfast of smoke herring and fry bait. I, I don't eat food on the outside, so I don't know what anything costs. I'll be honest with you guys. I cook a lot. 
it's not just cooking because I uh, I'm doing videos I cook a lot like a lot like a lot so I don't know the price of any street food and I really don't eat from people because of health purposes I don't know how it's handled how it's prepared and I just don't take chances with my stomach like that uh, food poison is a very serious thing it is people treat it lightly but it is a serious thing you know so I don't mess around with buying food outside we do that we do that very rare at our home here right you guys see the texture of this loveliness you all saw it from start to finish this is what you want look at that that's beautiful i, I say so myself it's just gorgeous so remember we talk about our sweet little ones right i'm gonna go in with the next one the next guy um and the next one too that one is like really big super big also, if you have in a function and people request fry bake and it's some, something home by you or you can use your stove to fry, fry bake is better when it's served hot off the fire. When it's sit down, it becomes, it's not as nice, honestly. So try and fry it when you're ready for it. I wouldn't suggest putting this dough in the fridge, honestly speaking. With soda, you can get away that a little bit, not fry bake. Right? There is one guy that uh, will appreciate this video a lot. I hope he got, gets the chance to sit down and watch it. Because he wanted this um, fry bake recipe or my method for the longest while. So I hope you get to see it and you see how easy it is. Yeah? So guys, I'm getting ready to conclude the video. You all see how easy these things are. Please don't be intimidated by food I say it all the time that's my purpose I'm just gonna cut open the bake and show you guys and, and do a plating I always do that with my arm um, and a tongue gives you better handle you know on things literally you could just flip it a fork might be folds in your bake I may not make a pretty presentation and whatever whatever a tongue is just like literal hands touching you know yeah so um i'm going to just do as i take out these two guys i'm, lo I'm going to load on the fire as these two guys come out and i'm going to plate plate it up for you guys to see right i hope you guys enjoy it like i say if you have questions comment below if you have questions if you want to see the video again check out my youtube channel it is food by shamion right any inquiries and so forth um my business email address is foodbyshamian at gmail.com my name is spell c-h-a-m-i-o-n that's my first name and the business was named after me of course all right so we're gonna get ready to play this guy you know we're gonna play it now I like white wares, I say that like all the time and some of you know that by now. I know I'm gonna get new followers and so forth, but um, for those of you that know me well, I like white for food. I'm kinda biased with that, yeah? It just looks nice up. Makes a better presentation and everything else, yeah? You can serve this both ways, you can serve it out of the, um, you can serve it on the side, and you can serve it on the um i'm gonna do it both ways because i'm gonna do a kid or a person that doesn't eat much one for them and i'm gonna do uh the next one on the outside of the uh you guys not see me is that i see you guys used to me by now very used to me too so sometimes you all know i do them now and you don't see me it's okay right it's all it's about the food it's not about me so you're gonna cut open this guy, serve you once you fry first, which is this one. Cut it open. It's cool now. Use tongs too. If you're if you are serving uh cooking for people, use tongs. If you are, use tongs, use gloves. Please do. Some people they don't want anybody touching their stuff. They might even tell you, let me fill it myself. If once you are not selling it, why not? Set up so that they can do buffet style. Buffet style seems to be all the rage these days, and as a matter of fact, at least here in Trinidad, I can speak for here, at least here in Trinidad. 
so i'm going to show you guys the loveliness that we have in how much minutes in such a short space of time what went on in this kitchen in real time no editing in real real time we have this lovely lovely meal in real real time there was no editing there was no such things this was done in like real time i can't stress that enough yeah and then i'm not going to put this one inside off yeah you don't need a salad for this because remember uh for fillers for the fry bake the sky is the literal limit for fillers for fry bake right trust me you can put cheese scrambled eggs jam anything you want right so we have one in um we have one in side of the bake we have one outside right yeah and um, this is what we're looking for you just want to make sure yeah i know the bake is ridiculously huge like like huge like that's a belly full right there so this is the two this is how we, the setup looks guys this is the final product it was my pleasure as always cooking for you all and i'll be with you all soon in the following nights and next demo until then um keep good and keep watching right bye guys